Blogging is an exciting place to be in right now with the ability to reach a massive audience at no cost. It seems like everyone and their mom is starting up a blog, but it's not as easy as it looks. Most bloggers make money by displaying ads or affiliate products on their blogs. However, it's really challenging to sustain a business like this. The key is to either monetize your blogs or build a successful blogging business and really develop and create your own products that you can sell. This will give you more opportunities for success and the chance to get ahead of those content with staking their blog's growth on the monetization of ads and affiliates. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I wanted to dig in to how you can build a high converting three blog post funnel. So let's jump right in. So let's say that you're selling three niche products on your website. Let's say a physical product, a service based product and a digital product. So physical products really require you to sell more items to maintain a profit. So services are where you bundle the most packages or close new clients. And all of these things have one thing in common, the customer journey. We really need a roadmap to figure out what three articles you'll need to write. So I thought I would outline how we can use content marketing funnels and how they would be laid out based on a three stage customer journey model. All right, so stage one is the problem. This is the stage of the customer journey where someone knows that they have a problem, but they don't know what to do. Their goal is to learn more about their problem and find possible solutions. The best word to capture this stage of the funnel is looking. And when one hears a question, the first thing that comes to mind, how can I find the answer? Looking for answers is essential for us. It's the natural human thing to do. At this stage of the customer journey, you are looking for answers to your questions and your intent is to learn more about your problem and find possible solutions. Stage two, the solution. So now that you have their attention, what do you do? Once your audience is engaged and you've educated them a little bit about the problem, they're ready to start looking for solutions. And this is where you definitely want your brand to come in. Rather than taking action, you know, people are now gathering information and they're really finding the best solution for their problems. So this is the learning stage of the funnel. So why do you exist? Let the world know. Right. This adage is particularly important for startups and smaller companies that want to reach out to their target customers with a very simple message. The first impression is an important factor is it can really make or break a sell. Let your audience know how your product or your service will improve their lives while addressing their most significant problem in the most direct manner possible. Stage three is to compare and buy. So potential customers, you know, really look towards education. Education is everything. They need to know the latest solutions and really work to make wise decisions. You know, that information is really imperative in helping them to understand their problem and figure out which solution would be best for their circumstances. And with so many choices available, customers are more likely to find themselves in this third stage consideration. And that's when your product marketing can really shine. When customers have finally decided on what solution to use, you'll want to help them optimize the benefits of their choice and develop a longer term relationship with you and your brand. So we use this three stage customer journey to generate three blog articles that move visitors through the process of learning, taking action and buying. So each blog will have a specific purpose and it will push the visitor further into the funnel. So blog post number one really needs to identify the problem. What is the initial problem that your product service or your website is solving. 
marketing is really about understanding the problem and crafting a solution, not just writing good copy. So to find the next big idea, customers need to understand their target audience's problem as well as they do themselves. You know, the more customers feel that marketing is tailored to them and their needs, the more they're likely to purchase from you. So in this first blog post, it's really essential to address the problem that you're solving and then expand upon it. Inevitably, you really need to use keywords that your potential customers would be searching for. So this blog article aims to provide value to the reader and it should do just one thing, help them with a specific problem that they're looking for. Blog number two is to provide that solution. So this second blog post really needs to provide solutions that the visitor can use to fix their problem. This is really the most crucial stage within the funnel. And in order to complete it, the blog article should really attract a visitor who knows that they have a problem and then put them into a mindset where you're ready to choose a solution. And you really need to convince that person who reads the article to choose your solution rather than another solution by the end of the article. So before customers were merely aware of the product that they needed, now they want to buy it. And blog post number three is where persuasion and comparison come in. So that final piece of your customer journey is to talk about why they should choose you over their competitors. They know how to solve their problem from awareness, and now you need to motivate them. So at this point, it doesn't matter if you are better or worse than your com competition. All that really matters is, are you the best for them? So be careful. You're not selling to your reader yet. So, you know, sure, you can throw in some of your best qualities and why your product or service is the best option for them, but you don't want to take it too far. Blog content is still a valuable opportunity for the visitor and it's their decision making stage. So don't make it too easy for them to decide against working with you. Third blog post really should have provided more specifics about your product or service and highlighted its benefits over your competition. You really will have to convince the visitor that it's a good idea for them to purchase from you. So now that you have your customer journey mapped out and you have those three posts outlined, then you really need to start putting the pieces of that puzzle together. So there are a couple different ways that you can go about leveraging the three blog post marketing funnel. You can do it through an email series or a multi-stage targeted marketing campaign. So let's kind of dig into those a little bit more. So the three-part email series, that really is one of the easiest ways to convert visitors into subscribers by giving them that three-part blog series. It really does need to be well-written, informative, and engaging. Once the blog posts are written, it's time to turn them into an email sequence. I would think probably a four email sequence. So the email flow should look something like this. So number one, you would send the emails one to three in sequential order. You want probably with a day in between each email. And then the final email in the sequence is a wrap up email. That's really a recap of the overall campaign. And it invites them to a discovery session or to purchase. And once a customer has gone through your landing page sequence and is engaged, then you want to move them to your email list. This is really one of the best ways to keep in touch with them. Your opt-in page needs to focus on the problem your service or your product solves in a visually captivating way. So you want to provide an instant solution that leaves the reader wanting to learn more. And you really want to provide that um, information in a concise manner, and that will really direct them through that overall page usability. Next up is that multi-stage target marketing. So the best blog posts are a journey. You know, they move the reader down the path of increasing interest and curiosity, creating a real desire to explore one idea to the next until arriving at the ultimate destination your product or your service. 
And this technique really creates a natural demand for customers to buy something rather than a forced sales pitch, you know, that's really only visible through promotional blog content. So optimizing these pages with the best copywriting, SEO, and practices will really lay out a solid foundation for your promotion. And a strong foundation in these three pages will help people see your site. So you want to promote each page, target the best audience, and ensure that you're reaching the right person. Every page is significant. Every reader has a different stage in the customer journey. So promoting them within other funnels, social media, that's really going to become more crucial than ever. Eventually, you want to test each page to see which ones are working. You may want to run multiple campaigns to keep a giant funnel on the homepage to catch everyone. And then the key is to use your best judgment and take a lot of notes along the way. When a visitor lands on your site with a problem, what do you do? You know, you welcome them, you know, immediately and you offer them help. That visitor is at the very beginning of the funnel. So it's pretty unlikely that they'll click through to a sales page right away. But, you know, even if they don't, you know, you can ensure that they're fully educated before they leave. So you want to make sure that's where you're linking to those articles. Even if they only read that first blog post, they're going to be much more likely to purchase from you. And your customers are now engaged and they're curious about your business. So this becomes the perfect opportunity to sell to them. And traditionally, once you make a sale, the customer journey is over. But in modern blogging sales funnels, the first sell is really just the beginning. The next step is to turn that one-off customer into a lifetime customer with compelling offers. All right, so what did we learn today? Well, number one, that there's a three-stage customer journey, and you want to think of that, that as problem, solution, compare, and buy. And the three blog post marketing funnel looks like three articles that are written to accommodate each of those stages of the customer journey. Finally, you want to optimize and promote pages and add multi-stage targeted marketing to your overall strategy and plan. And then once you master that strategy, you will profit around the clock. And this is especially rewarding for those selling digital products, which can make money while you sleep. And while building a funnel like this can take time and energy, I can definitely guarantee that this is really the key to long-term profits and sustainability for your business. When you combine the power of blog automation with cross promotion and email sequences, you really can create a robust sales funnel. And the best part is, is once you set it up, then you can automate everything. That way, regardless of the evergreenness of your content or your products, you can let your blog focused funnel run on its own while you focus on other aspects of your business. All right, well, I hope you found those tips on how to build a high converting three post funnel helpful. If you try it, reach out, let me know. And of course, if you need help building it, schedule a free consultation. I'm happy to walk you through it and answer any questions that you have. You can always do so at jennylion.com forward slash chat. But I really hope that you found this helpful. And also, if you jump over to the website, I do have a blog breakdown workbook and it really outlines how to write these different types of blog posts. So you might find that helpful and you can grab that at jennylion.com forward slash blog breakdown. But either way, please reach out. Let me know how building this funnel in your business is working for you. And as always, I'll see you next time on another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. See you soon.